so as a part of my core four uh, that I'm now focused on uh, is to FaceTime my wife. Uh, not just my daughter, but FaceTime just my wife every single day. Um, obviously, it's easy uh, for the day to get away from you, but remembering the things that are most important. It's easy when things are great, but my wife and I had an argument last night. We had an argument, and uh, we just weren't seeing eye to eye on something. And uh, it would have been very easy not to FaceTime her, but I did. And when I did FaceTime her, she answered and she was actually in the parking lot of my office and was coming to surprise me uh, and bring my daughter just to come see me and give me a little break uh, this afternoon. So it's amazing how the universe will always reward you for doing the right thing. Oh, and shout out to the GBL hustle. <laughs> you know your beard is getting a little too long when you can't even tell that you're wearing a V-neck. <laughs> Yeah, I've just, I've been so focused lately on just getting this message out there, right? Like, you know, we'll, we'll travel to California and you'll go to New York and you're doing this event here and this podcast with this guy from this part of the country and that part of the country. Uh -huh. And then you just sit back and realize you're like, whoa, 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 there's a reason why we live in Greenville. And it's funny, everywhere I go, I talk about how much I love Greenville, especially given the fact that um, you know, for the last three and a half years, I've traveled to Georgia with my career, like, four days a week. I'm like, it makes no sense for me to live in Greenville other than the fact that I just freaking love it here. Like, I absolutely love it. You know, really looking forward to the event on officially July 1st. The, yes. Uh, first Sunday of the month. I know a lot of people might be going off for July 4th, but that's okay. We're, I think there's be enough people around. So the first Greenville Hustle meetup, GBL Hustle, baby. That's it. That's it. Dude, I'm excited, man. Um, I've, ever since we first started even throwing out this idea, I've had a ton of people, ton of people reach out. While the yep. whole town has kind of come alive, you know, yep. I don't feel like there's been that same connective tissue of the people and the players that are living and breathing it every day. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and the other thing, too, is like, this is not just like a networking event, right? Like this isn't something where you go and you get like two drink tickets and then you go stand by yourself on your phone and you just kind of like make an appearance for an hour and then leave. Like this is something that you're going to be able to come and engage with the group, like come and not just meet people, but come and figure out like, you know, come with a problem and, and come with a solution. And with that problem, we'll, we'll throw it out there. Like, yeah. hey, like what's, what's your biggest struggle right now in your business? My biggest struggle is, bam, bam, bam. And then you're going to have people around you that are going to raise their hand. They're like, hey, like, I, I freaking crushed that area of my life. And they're like, cool, let's connect you guys and let's freaking, let's figure that out. Creating an environment to where when people walk in, they know that there's freaking like no judgment whatsoever. Like not in the uh, horrible like Planet Fitness way. But, <laughs> but, yeah, right. but, but like legit, like almost like celebrating people's um, transparency journal and 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 i don't want any of these terms to like think like well is this is this exactly what you saw no i'm just talking like the tenets of it mm -hmm. you know because the, the tenet of it is you know people hustlers entrepreneurs like-minded spirited people that are into you know all the stuff that we're into mm -hmm. and how do you organize how do you rally them and organize them yeah. and how do we grow where we're planning here in Greenville? Mm -hmm. And so I mean the concept was there and you get that. Yeah. But then it's like I then I go, okay, upstate business journal. They haven't really modernized their approach. No. GVL today is a cool daily newsletter. Yeah. It's mass though. No, it's yeah. mass market. I, that's not a bad model mm -hmm. to, that I think could be mimicked yeah. for this. Yeah. Uh, to make it because I think they've They've it's a made lot it, of content. It is a lot of content, so I don't know that it's daily. Yeah. You know, we, I was thinking like a weekly newsletter yeah. or even bi-monthly. And then there's going to be areas where someone's going to stand up and be like, man, I've just really been crushing it in this area of my life. And then you're going to have three hands go up there like, hey, I need some of that. <laughs> so so uh, <laughs> I, really think, I really think it's, not, it's going to be more of, um, more of helping each other grow than just finding out who each other is. Uh, I think for me, that, that's, the, that's the big thing that I'm looking for. Um, and just finding those like-minded individuals, like people that, you know, you see some books up here, like Crushing It right there. Um, you know, people that are, that, are, that are connected with Gary V, people that are listening to different podcasts and vlogs and that have this mentality that you and I have, um, connecting with more of those people here locally because I know they're out there. It's just I don't really know how to find them unless we create our own platform to do so. <laughs>